Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. Dreamer is up two games to one over Crane. Crane starting at the 12 o'clock location is the red Protoss bottom left hand corner. We have Dreamer as the green Protoss. This is on Blue Bastic Demon or BSL Elastic, however they changed the name to be BSL. They put the little BSL logos and stuff on the map. I'm going to give another shout out to the map contest, which I don't even know if it's going to still be running by the time I upload this. I'm trying to do that daily upload thing. Also, I've been doing the daily upload thing on YouTube for, I think, about a month or so. It's been a bit. Let me know in comments how that's working out for you guys. I feel like this is the better way to do it because I don't want to produce like an overwhelming amount of content. This is meant to be more like a more like tea. You know, you just kind of sip it and enjoy it. Sit down. Let it be a thing in the day. Distill the mind and just enjoy zealots smacking each other with blades and exploding in a whiff of smoke. That's the way I feel about it. <laughs> The uh, calm violence to it. <laughs> uh, this this is again, yeah. I'm Blue Bastard Demon. Check out the. I think it's Team Think Quick is sponsoring it, but it's basically the New Worlds map contest on Team Liquid. It is in the Brood War section. Vote on the maps if that's still going. I hope it is. By the time I'm doing this, you can vote for four of maps, and I think there's about 16 or so, maybe even 20 maps that. They're kind of checking, and I think that's what's going to run out of their next best of the best tournament. So they get kind of the top line players and have them run against each other. Both players opening up gateway first. Dreamer is up two games to one. Crane, uh, yeah, it just felt like that. I feel like both players are playing a little bit. Uh, are we going to see a second gateway? Looks like he's setting up for a second gateway. So two gate opener on a three player map. And this is on a map that does not have a ramp. And it looks like Dreamer did in fact go for a simulator. This can be, so this, this is another story altogether. When you do not have that ramp to provide that mis misfire and clog things up and to provide kind of that probe support, this can be difficult to fight. And Crane got the early scout. So he's come into his opponent's base and, and got a little bit of disruption there on the probes. There was a large, and there's kind of a Dreamer actually faltering a bit overall. So pulled a lot of probes to attack this. That disrupted a little bit of mining and he is gonna need all of this. He's that's, that's time he needed to defend this. He's going to fortunately get a scout off. Walking to this base to see the two gate opener. But he is already opened with an assimilator. I'm wondering if he's going to go shield battery. Something along those lines. Look like Crane is opting to actually keep this probe in the base to provide some additional defense or some additional offense in his early aggression. He is also plopping down an assimilator. So it looks like he's not, at least he's signaling that he's not fully dedicating to this. That he's just going to go for initial three zealots. Maybe push, uh, maybe push towards the front and go from there. And yeah, it looked like where he thought about keeping that probe in the base, he's going to go ahead and back it off. We do three, see the three probes on Gasson. On this side, and there's the Dragoon. Three Zealots now making their way down. This is going to be up to Dreamer to do some defense. Cybernetic score warping in. This can be tough. Actually, I take it back. Crane snuck that probe out, but is keeping it back to provide some additional support. Second gateway warping in, but this is going to be two-gate production. I hope it's continuous two-gate production. Looks like it's been paused right this second. Three zealots making their way down. And this Dragoon could end up in trouble, because this probe might be able to swing right back around. Oh, pause and an unpause in the match right there. At a very critical moment, actually. Where's that probe? That probe sneaking back around the corner. Here's the thing. If this probe gets behind that zealot, or behind that Dragoon, that Dragoon could get taken out very, very rapidly. Two Dragoon... Yes. Regrouping. Second Dragoon is being produced. The three Zealots still might be able to march into the main. One Zealot has been taken down, so it's going to be two probes, or sorry, two Zealots and a probe, able to get one probe kill. Regathering, trying to re-engage. And honestly, I feel like Crane might have been able to win this if he just continued to produce units and push this forward. Instead, though, Dreamer with a nice defense. He did end up losing two probes in his base. He didn't end up losing a Dragoon. And a probe lost as well. So, And he's got his two gates up. And I think range much earlier. Yeah, a much earlier range. So Dreamer with some nice defense, despite being a little bit scattered, despite a little bit of interruption, I'm going to put him... Um, well, we'll see. We'll see if he ends up ahead overall, because Macro in the interim, Crane was able to keep his four probes different, or at least five probes different, as far as just raw production. So a little bit, and I'm wondering if that has to do with a little bit of the earlier disruptions as well. But And Dreamer supply blocked himself in the midst of all that. Oof. So that'll be the difference too. So I was going to say nice defense on Dreamer and that's going to put him at an advantage here in the early game. And instead, I'm going to say because he was supply blocked, because he was playing a little bit flustered, 
He is falling way behind in the early, early supply count. He's moving, and I think with that, he's like, you know what, I screwed up early. We just got to push forward and make it happen. Three Dragoons, a Zealot, and a Probe. This is usually not what you, uh, I'm wondering if this is just nerves playing right now, being in a semifinal. Zealot could make the difference. That's a first Dragoon down. Nice focus fire there on Dreamer. Not able to get the focus fire to follow up. Just letting a Zealot do the damage. Two, two Dragoons down. This is going to be a third. Two more Dragoons have popped out. So it's going to be still three. And I got to say, nice micro on Dreamer thus far. That might be, that might have been what he needed to really even things up. Still engaging. Pulling out for a moment. Sacrificing one Dragoon, one Zealot. But that was a big win, micro overall. He took out several Dragoons without really losing anything. Still behind 10 probes, though. And a good amount of supply otherwise. Robotic facility dropping down. If he can execute some additional micro, exactly like that. Five Dragoons, looks like they might dive in once again. He is going up against four, but keep in mind the closer reinforcement point. One Dragoon just running straight across. And just dying. Yeah, Dreamer is not playing well. I'm wondering if this is in a very laggy environment or what. Just diving straight across. He's doing a much better job with his focus fire. Probe's coming off the line for Crane. And Crane calling GG! Really? That felt like a... What? Did I miss something there? I don't feel like that should have been a GG. I take it back. So we are going to reassess this. Because obviously I missed some stuff. Play. Okay. Two gates versus two gate. Still. Probes coming off the line. Yeah, I think Dreamer might have just won this. I think this is the engagement that won it. This right here. And these Dragoons aren't even firing yet as they were rallying towards the front. Okay, one Zealot down. We're going to rewatch this. Robo down. Honestly, I'm going to pause here. Three. So yeah, I got five Dragoons coming in against what will be four. I still feel like he could have fought this out. But I'm wondering if Crane thought that he was up against a higher gateway count here than he was. Still, I will give... I will say this. Dreamer... Currently, yeah, has the higher Dragoon count walking in. This is going to be me, like, flopping the... Kind of the recast of the end here. Five Dragoons moving in versus four. Crane, yeah, just out of position, not engaging this well. One Dragoon just walking straight across, though. So, here, it's three, three versus three with one kind of in the wings and two more moving in, plus the probes coming off the line. Nice micro, though. The probes, though, where are they going? Yeah, the probes just not microing well. Okay, pause. Pause here. Two Dragoons just about to spawn. 26 versus 14 probes. Two more reinforcements coming in, but that's still against this and some probes. I think he could have fought it. And then another Dragoon moving up. Yeah, Cr Crane got into his own head. I think he thought he was up. Oh, that's unfortunate. I wonder if he's going to see this and be like, ugh. So it is, okay, so currently, just uh, for talking to Twitch chat here, it is five versus two, but this is with probes, but this is going to be two. So it would be, essentially, once these two pop out with some micro, it would be two versus, and actually, maybe, I don't know, yeah, maybe with the reinforcement, it just would have been a good flood, because there would have been more coming out. So you would have had to keep pulling probes off the line to defend this. But honestly, with a shield battery, something like that, I think he could have fought it off. That's just my opinion, though. I think what also might have happened here, the, the bad micro... Definitely from Crane overall. A little bit of bad micro both directions. Uh, but, but, I'm wondering if Crane also thought he was up against a higher gateway count. I want to hear from him, actually, on this one. Because I'm wondering if he thought he was up against 3-8 by the number of units that were coming into his base. Yeah, that's unfortunate because uh, I'll, I'll leave this one as a meandering commentary. That's unfortunate because I feel like these players are, are capable of better and they just ended up playing a little bit nervous and a little bit sloppy honestly in these three games but i think with this i'm going to move on to the finals so it is going to be dreamer versus master ray in the final match and we'll move on to that momentarily hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for listening